Creating a new document in Photoshop is pretty straightforward. If you come up to File, choose New, you receive a number of options and you can see our interface here. Uh, we can choose to set our width in inches and pixels, uh, all the standard measurements. Let's say that you want to create a new document for your Facebook timeline. So we want to choose pixels. Uh, resolution for any web-based document is 72. And then we know from looking at Facebook's recommended dimensions that the width of a timeline cover is 851 pixels and the height is 315. The background we can leave to white, color profile, a pixel aspect ratio, the defaults in Photoshop uh, are usually perfectly fine for 99.9% .9 of the work that you'll do with it. So all we need to do once we have our correct dimensions inserted into our setup here is click OK. And the ending result is a panel that is to the exact dimensions that we need to create a Facebook timeline header image. If you wanted to create, say, a graphic for a, a new book cover, and the book cover dimensions are 6 by 9 inches, for instance, again, we would come up to File, click New. In this case, we would change our measurement ruling to inches. And because we want to create a print cover, we would actually change the resolution to 300 in this case because we're working with print. If we're creating a 6 by 9 inch cover for our book, 6 by 9 is the actual trim width, but normally we would want to allow bleed, correct? So normal bleed for a print document is an eighth of an inch, which is 0.125. So typically you'll want to allow 0.125 times 2 for both the width and the height. So what that means is we would want to create a document with a width of not 6 inches, but 6.25 to allow for the bleed for our cover. We would want to create a, the document height as 9.25 to allow for the bleed top and bottom. And once we have that set, we can click OK.